a senior US Department of Defense official, has been implicated in an alleged leak of Israeli military response plans to Iran, raising concerns about the depth of Iranian intelligence operations within US defense circles. The suspect, Ariane Tabatabai, an American-Iranian senior Pentagon employee with top secret clearance, is being investigated for reportedly sharing classified information regarding Israel's military preparations with Tehran, according to a US official speaking on condition of anonymity. The official told Sky News Arabia that Tabatabai is the prime suspect in leaking details of Israel's plans to respond to Iranian missile attacks. The leaked information reportedly involves a comprehensive Israeli military strategy targeting Iranian officials and infrastructure following an Iranian missile strike earlier this month. Israel had been preparing retaliatory measures after Iran launched roughly 200 ballistic missiles, targeting military facilities and causing over $50 million in damage. This strike was in response to the recent assassination of senior Iranian and Hezbollah officials, including Hezbollah leader Hassan Nasrallah, who was killed in an Israeli airstrike in Beirut. The leak has shaken both Washington and Tel Aviv, with Israeli intelligence reportedly scrambling to adjust its strategy. US officials confirmed that the House and Senate intelligence committees were briefed on the investigation, particularly given the suspect's access to highly classified material. The incident underscores growing concerns about Iran's intelligence reach which has successfully penetrated key networks in Lebanon and beyond. Insider reports suggest that an Iranian mole embedded within Hezbollah was responsible for alerting Israel to Nasrallah's exact location prior to the strike. Israeli Channel 14 reported that Israel's military had devised a detailed plan to retaliate against Iran for the missile strikes involving precision targeting of Iranian officials. However, the leak of these plans raises significant doubts about Israel's ability to conduct covert operations without Iranian foreknowledge. Pentagon spokesperson Major General Pat Ryder pushed back against claims that Tabata Bai is being investigated for espionage, stating, FBI is investigating the alleged leak of classified documents and working closely with the Department of Defense and the intelligence community on this. Um, the investigation is in its first few days, so it's important to let that investigation run its course. Um, as it relates to the, the safety uh, or the safeguarding of sensitive information, that is, of course, something that we take uh, incredibly seriously here at the Department of Defense uh, and will continue to do so. But as it relates to this uh, particular allegation, uh, as I'm sure you can appreciate, uh, because it's under investigation, I'm just not going to be able to offer any more comment. However, the allegations are already fueling political tensions in Washington, where Republican lawmakers have drawn parallels between Tabata Bai and U.S. envoy Robert Malley, who has faced accusations of unauthorized contact with Iranian officials. The White House expressed concern over the potential breach. President Joe Biden is reportedly deeply troubled by the apparent leak of sensitive military documents, which were also posted on Telegram last week. National Security Council. Spokesperson John Kirby told reporters that the president views any leak of classified information as unacceptable, noting that an investigation is ongoing to determine how the information was made public. We're not exactly sure how these documents uh, found their way into the public domain. Um, I know the Department of Defense is investigating this, uh, and I'm sure that as they work through that, um, they'll, they'll try to determine uh, the, the manner in which they did become public.
Um, so I'm just not able to answer your question whether it was a leak or a hack at this point. We'll let the investigation uh, pursue its logical course there. With Iranian intelligence seemingly outsmarting its US and Israeli counterparts, the incident underscores the escalating intelligence battle between Washington, Tel Aviv, and Tehran as the shadow war in the Middle East intensifies.